All right, Daryl Lawson Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy uh, Wednesday, April 12th, 2017, 419 in the afternoon. I just finished two live shows on Facebook Live. So if you want to watch my live shows every day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., go to DarylLawson.com, check those out. I want to do a quick video here, by the way, on uh, the Vatican having a bad day. <laughs> Listen, a lot of miracles are happening uh, this week. Last week, we had Trump make, make a major mistake. Uh, sending missiles into Syria, right? Ill-advised. Uh, Trump is having many advisors around him give, giving him, on purpose, Vatican fake news intel. But good news is, is that Trump is turning the ship around and trying to do that which is right. I have a couple articles or so, several articles I want to read here. Trump says today, guess what? We're not going into Syria. Oh, oh hallelujah. All right, there you go. We're not going into Syria. Now, the Vatican, the New World Order, wants an invasion, wants a World War III. I talked about that uh, last week, how the world, uh, New World Order is panicking and wants World War III. They can only accomplish their, their crappy agenda when there's war and famine and pestilence and earthquakes. Oh, yeah, so they're behind them. And they're increasing them in the last days. Jesus said that would be a major sign of the end time, not natural earthquakes. Not pestilences, natural pestilences just occurring because uh, through nature. No, I'm talking about New World Order ma manipulation of the planet. Ooh, so miracle. Trump says we're not going into Syria. Hallelujah. You got that from ABC, New York Post, uh, ABC. We're not going into Syria, President Trump says. Infowars. Trump not going into Syria. Oh, that's going to give the Vatican a headache. They're not going to sleep very well tonight. Love, love, love. Listen, I, I, I believe in prayer. I believe in praying in the name of Jesus by the Holy Spirit. I, I, I believe in being born again, spirit-filled, and praying the scriptures and by the Holy Spirit in these last days. Jesus said, whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound from heaven. Listen, when people pray correctly, biblically, by the Holy Spirit, being born again, spirit-filled, their prayers are effective. And I'm, I, 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 I am saying we are seeing answers to prayer. This is amazing. People have been uh, searching online for World War III. <laughs> Those uh, search, searches are go going way up. People are wondering, are we going to go into war? Ah, what's going on? Trump released all these missiles. Are we going to war? Well, lo and behold, Trump says, we're not going into Syria. Dude, now, well, he said... You know, he wasn't going to shoot missiles into Syria either. But hey, one day at a time, right? Jesus said, sufficient <laughs> today are the battles. <laughs> Don't worry about tomorrow. <laughs> take, uh, take each victory as it comes. Trump not going to Syria. Infowars.com. And uh, MSNBC, we're not going to Syria. That's a miracle. We do, we do not need, the USA does not need to invade anywhere, especially Syria, because Russia is backing Syria, China is backing Syria, and Syria never gassed their own people. They don't believe the white knuckleheaded uh, helmet dudes, yeah. Well, the doctors were there, they saw it, and who are these guys? Very, very, very sketchy. Uh... Bad intel That's that uh, that Trump went on to shoot missiles into Syria. Yeah, uh, and I'll get into, speaking about China, I want to talk about uh, China dealing with North Korea. Another miracle. Oh, the Vatican's not having a very good day. Love it. I'll read a few more of these right here. Uh, Newsday.com, we're not going into Syria. Ooh, over and over and over. Talking points memo. Here's another one. Uh... NBC News, same thing. We're not going into Syria. Oh, hallelujah. You know, I love the press conference that that, that uh, Tillerson and Russia had today. They, uh, Secretary of State Tillerson went to Russia. The, he met with Putin. Uh, then they had a press conference after. You know, the, 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 what the Russian uh, foreign minister, uh, what was his name, uh, Oh, it'll, it'll pop into my mind here in a moment. Uh, said today at the press conference, whoa, was so good. Let me see this right here. Lavrov, that's his name. Rex Tillerson, 
faces off with Sergei Lavrov. Intense press conference. You know, another victory here because Russia got to tell the world what actually went on in Syria, how it was a false flag event. Tillerson, Till, Rex Tillerson looked like an idiot. Yeah, uh, with all the disinformation and propaganda that he was pushing today. I don't know much about Rex Tillerson other than he's the Secretary of State. You know, John Gary, uh, the Wicked Witch of the East, Hillary Clinton, you know, all had that job of Secretary of State. And, you know, Hillary and Kerry lied 100%. At least, you know, Tillerson has about 5% good. <laughs> we can work with that. <laughs> so I'm not going to write off Rex Tillerson yet. But he sure looked like a fool today talking about, uh, you know, he had the wrong intel about whether it was by ignorance or, or on purpose. But Rex Tillerson at the press conference in Russia looked like an idiot today with his bad information. But I love the fact that Russia told the whole world was what was really going on uh, behind the scenes. And uh, whether it was in Syria uh, with Assad or whether it was about the election process, Lavrov was spot on. Tillerson was like as far off, you know, from the green as you can hit the ball. Yeah. Let me just think of this one. Uh, uh, headline. Trump, we're not going into Syria. Whoop, whoop. Let me read that from uh, InfoWars. This is uh, what we need to hear. We don't need to send any more troops, even though there's troops coming in and out for the last several months, several years. Uh, in the Middle East and Syria. Uh, Russia is one of the only countries that, 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 that are really fighting ISIS, by the way. But the mainstream media, the uh, fake media, they were hoping, and the New World Order, the Vatican, they were hoping that Trump would send an invasion. Send the invasion. Oh, it's a video. Let me pull up the... Uh, let me pull up the NewYorkPost.com. Uh, I can't read a video, can I? Yeah. The headline's just good enough. The fact of the matter is, I, I heard this in the press conference and I've been hearing it uh, almost everywhere now. But this is not what the, what the New World Order wanted to hear. So Trump cleared the air, it says, amid complaints that his aides are saying different things about Syria. I've never seen so much confusion in a long time when it comes to presidential behavior. And his policy, they're saying, is confusing. But tr Trump emphatically cleared the air today. Or he was actually talking about this yesterday as well. But anyways, he said, we're not going into Syria. Well, hallelujah, and pass the cornbread. We're not going into Syria. Our policy is the same. It hasn't changed. We're not going into Syria. Well, thank God. The president, speaking by phone, called Syrian President ba uh, Bashar al-Assad a butcher. Well, I, I, you know, Trump's still misin mis misinformed on that. If you want to blame somebody for what's going on in the Middle East and in and around Syria, blame the Vatican. So, you know, Trump's a newbie. I've been doing videos about this all week. We don't throw out the Trump with the bathwater. We got to keep lifting him up in prayer. He said President Assad is a butcher and a barbarian for using sarin gas on his own people. Number one, it wasn't sarin gas. Number two, it wasn't Assad. Uh, okay, so Trump needs to do like what uh, the Russians were, were telling people today at the press conference in Russia with Tillerson. Do the investigation. Pull back the curtain. And you'll find out that it's not about Assad. It's about the CIA. It's about the Vatican Jesuits. It's about the New World Order. Using the rebels to gas the people. I don't think it was sarin gas. It was some other uh, toxin. Uh, because the doctors there weren't using gloves when treating the patients. Just saying. So Trump goes on to say, which is perfect, our mission, our big mission is getting rid of ISIS. Well, ISIS is run by the Vatican, so 
that's going to be interesting to pull that stump out of the ground. That's where it's always been. So Trump is listening. Trump needs to pray more. Trump needs to, need to listen to other advisors that he was listening to prior uh, to his presidency. Because now his other advisors are, are, a lot of his advisors are crappy. But this is good news. Our big mission, Trump says, is getting rid of ISIS. That's where it's always been. But when you see kids choking to death, you watch their lungs burning. We had to hit him and hit him hard. He was moved by bad intel. Yeah. Pointing to Assad to try to force Trump to have an invasion and provoke Russia and China to war. He was sincere for the people, but Trump was sincerely wrong. <laughs> Uh, Trump says it's very tough to give the final go-ahead. Yeah, because uh, he, he, you know, he doesn't want to send missiles, which is a good sign. You always have a sick leader that always likes to send missiles. Like, like Obama was total sick with him and the CIA director always scheming every week to send drones and killing people. Freaks. Now, I'm just hoping and praying that... Uh, the Vatican, the CIA, the New World Order, the intelligence agencies, the governments that the Vatican runs around the world will not try to bring in another gas attack, uh, a bigger one, in Syria and blame it on Assad again. But I love the fact that Lavrov, Russia today, was getting, uh, clearing the air and getting the information out how this was a false flag event. Putin has said that the Assad... Uh, gassing uh, or the chemical attack was not by Assad. It was a false leg event by the rebels. And I'll just say it's connected all the way back to the Vatican, Rome. He said about Russia, he says, we're not exactly on the same wavelength with Russia. Well, you should be. He said, Putin must see what a barbar bar bar barbarian this guy is. Well, Putin knows that it's not a, that's not Assad. Secretary of State uh, Rex Tillerson, T-Rex in Moscow, as we spoke, Trump said he hoped for Putin's cooperation. But he added, I don't know. Well, that's a true statement. You just don't know. Yeah, listen, uh, don't bomb people if you don't know what's going on. Get, uh, well, there was a UN meeting today, uh, a vote to vote condemning, or a vote in the UN trying to condemn Syria for the gas attack. It didn't go through because uh, I think Bolivia and Russia vetoed it, which is great because Syria is is really not the sacrificial lamb. Syria didn't do anything. So I'm glad that vote didn't go through. Oh, hallelujah. But good things are happening. Number one, hey, we'll take what we can get right now. Trump said not going into Syria. So that's a good sign. Very good sign. Then when I see articles like this, Chinese... Uh, or China, the Chinese uh, send warning to North Korea not to mess with the U.S. <laughs> Another one, China warns North Korea not to cross Trump. When you have a communist country, China, telling another co communist country, North Korea, to do what Trump wants, wow, that's pretty good. And it has nothing to do with the missile attack. It's got to do with what's going on behind the scenes. Now, did the missiles help? I think, I think the foreign leaders like China and Russia realize that this could be a powder keg to start World War III, and they're very careful, uh, knowing that Trump is a newbie, a novice. And so I think China and Russia primarily are trying to, and other people, are trying to get information to Trump, the real information, to combat the fake news and intel that other people are bringing up. But when you see Trump saying we're not going to Syria, that's, that's a breakthrough. When you see China warning North Korea not to cross Trump, hallelujah, dailycolor.com, New York Post, uh, zerohedge.com, China warns North Korea. That's another miracle right there. I think uh, the Vatican needs to have a lot of aspirin tonight. China even threatens to bomb North Korea's nuclear facility. Now, don't forget, North Korea uh, is being run by the Vatican. China, even though it's, it, it's a communist country, is pulling away from the Vatican's control 
uh, by and large, I think China is, China is following, the, following the path of Russia, where Russia broke away from communism and broke away from the control of the Vatican through communism. I think Va the Vatican controls nations different ways. One of the ways that the, that the Vatican has controlled nations is by setting up communism in their country and fascism, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think that it wasn't just an economy collapse that broke the Soviet Union. I think it was Jesus actually breaking the Vatican's control over Russia using communism. And so rather than looking at it, what people have been saying about the economy, 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 I look at Russia breaking away from the Vatican and coming out of communism and being its own nation, being part of the BRIC nations that, that, that buck the New World Order. And I think China is following the steps of Russia. When you see China war warning North Korea not to cross Trump, that's a miracle. Even Reuters has to admit it, suckers. Chinese state tabloid warns North Korea against nuclear tests. Again, the Guardian, uh, dot com. China warns, warns North Korea. I mean, it's over and over and over. China warns North Korea. So I love it. I love it. I love it. When China starts working together with the U.S., that's a miracle. When Russia uh, uh, start, is starting to work with the U.S., that, that's a miracle. That's what the Vatican doesn't want this. The Vatican does not want a relationship between, between China and, and Russia and the U.S., which we need to have. Even today, at the uh, there was a press, uh, well, the U.N. vote. The, the Russian U.N., uh, whatever they call him there, uh, uh, minister, uh, told everybody, told the U.N. today, the Russian U.N. ambassador, I call him, uh, told the UN today. Listen, you need to uh, why are you, you need to back off. You need to look. What did he say? Look at me. He was ticked off. He said, "Why do you all fear a relationship between the U.S. and Russia?" I'll tell you why the UN fears that because the Vatican fears that. That's why Hillary freaked out last year. You, uh, you know, trying to use uh, some kind of psychology, mind control on Trump by trying to scare Trump by saying you have a relationship with Russia. I would, have said, I would have said to Hillary, yeah, so what? At least it's a good relationship. Or if I didn't have one, maybe I don't have one, but I'd like to. Then I would fire back and say, yeah, but Hillary, you're the one making all the uh, uh, lucrative deals with the mafia in Russia. And she, she had. Ha ho! Lavrov and Tillerson hold joint press conference today. Having met with Putin, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and Russian Foreign Secretary Sergei Lavrov hold pre a joint press conference, which, I, which is another miracle because Lavrov told the whole world really what was going on, uh, the good intel about Assad, not the phony intel. It was fabulous. If you didn't see it, you need to uh, go back and listen to the joint press conference today between Lavrov and Tillerson. And, and, and not listen to Tillerson. Tillerson is really, I mean, 95% of what Tillerson says is bull. But it looks like 100% of what Lavrov was saying was, is correct intel. So it's good news, good news, good news. China is working now with the U.S. and Russia. Whoa! I love it, love it. This is good news for the planet. Bad news for the Vatican. Now we have to pray that this, this continues. You gotta pr pray that uh, Trump gets good intel. Doesn't move on phony fake news intel. It's not moved by pictures of of, of 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 children being gassed. We don't know where those pictures came from. We don't know, even know if that's real. It's like watching a movie and saying, "Ah, I gotta do something because of the movie." It's not real. It's fiction. It's Hollywood. Trump made a mistake, but we gotta pray that he that he keeps on making. Good decisions and not mistakes like he's doing right now. It was, it was imperative. It was vital that the U.S. and Russia talk, and they did. And they need to keep on talking. The same thing, the lines of communication have to be open 24-7 with Russia and China, with Trump. 
And might as well throw in Iran. Iran needs to be in, in, in on the conferences as well. And Syria. Bring them in there. Trump needs to know what's really going on so he's not duped again. Yeah. But it's a great day, great victories. But is the battle over? No, the battle is not over until we go in the next rapture. And then the great tribulation will start. So the battles really don't end until Jesus returns at the Battle of Armageddon. And then there's going to be some battles later on as well. Talk about the major battles. Yeah, so we're here for a reason. We're here to shine light against the darkness, all right? Yeah, it's a great time to be alive. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for what you're doing. Uh, with Syria. Thank you for what you're doing with China. Thank you, Lord, what you're doing with Russia and the U.S. Help Trump not to be an idiot. <laughs> Help uh, uh, Rex Tillerson not to be an idiot. Help these politicians to actually know what's going on and not be puppets of the Vatican. Your will be done with China and Russia and the U.S. and the nations, Lord. Resist the new world order. Push back the darkness. Thank you, Father, by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Thought I'd do that. It's it's a great time to be alive. It really is. But we need to be prayers, pray, prayer warriors, prayers, <laughs> praying people, prayer warriors for the for Jesus in these last days. Yeah. Ask and you shall receive. We need to continue to ask the Lord to intervene. You have not because you ask not. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. It's it's vital that we allow the Holy Spirit to pray through us in these last days. That's why we're here. I say it to, I'll tell people, pray and obey. All right, so it's a great time to be alive. See all my videos. This is actually my 1500th video right now. 1500th video. Is that, is that, is that proper English? <laughs> 1500. That's, that's the video right now. Yeah, the 1500th video I've just done right now here on my YouTube channel. Yeah, and I have like going on 300 fresh new videos as well on my Facebook Live. Yeah, so you can see that every day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Facebook Live with a recap of top stories and top news on my YouTube channel. Go to DarylLawson.com to get that information and more. All right, I'll see you online, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. DarylLawson.com. Bye for now.